today is my birthday so i have this very offending pimple on my chin i'm wearing this because i thought it would be cute but now i'm sweating also i was checking over the footage for this video and turns out i didn't talk at all in any of my clips so i was like let's do a life update segment where you guys can listen to me talk one sec let's catch up so pretty much i started filming i think in october and then that was when i was working on my shirt for school but then stuff happened and i stopped filming that and i was like you know what i give up on this because i was gonna make like a vlog about it but then i started filming like very close to finals week so now I just have like these two vlog type clips of me sewing in the studio and like general life stuff, um, which I'm combining. So that's what this video is about. So if you like watching university content or sewing content or like anything, you'll probably enjoy this. Let's talk about how I got into plants recently. I was just chilling and then I started on this piece. I started on this piece because Paul Rubens sent me more of their watercolors to try out and I was like, I'll try them out. And I was doing all this research on plants. And then I started getting into plants and I watched like all the plant YouTube videos and then all the plant TikTok compilations on YouTube. I went over to my friend's house and they had these baby spider plants from their huge spider plant. So I just have them in water and they are growing very well. So I have this one and I have this one and then I have a ton of pothos over there. I also got this begonia maculata cutting she doesn't look so good yeah she looks like quite bad it came kind of damaged in the package so i'm not sure what to do alas i'll lay her down here okay but do we want to see the shirt that i made because I almost died for it. So let's go see the shirt that I made. While I grab that, you watch the rest of this video and come back at the end and I will have the shirt on, okay? Okay, go. It's almost fall 2020 and this video was fall 2021 so I should have done a fancy voiceover sooner but what can you do am I right I finished editing this video like fall 2021 but I didn't like it enough to post it but now that I look back I'm like um this was funny I think I've gone downhill since then so this is what you're seeing basically this whole vlog is me with my first real sewing class in university. So it was in August-ish, I think, or maybe September that I decided to do a double major. So I added on fashion design as a major alongside my business management degree. 
If you're not familiar with the university structure here in the US, um, your major is basically like your specialized path and you take classes around that subject based on the requirements your specific college gives you. So I'm almost done with my business degree, um, but I've been taking fashion classes here and there. So yeah, here I am in Apparel Construction 1, which is like the beginner's clothing making class. So I remember literally being a flop because I hadn't really had any formal experience with sewing except for when I was like a kid. I'll go to like summer camp and stuff. Um, so it was massively challenging and frustrating which is why there are like big chunks of footage missing. I was too bummed to film it. But at the same time, I'm like, the rest of this footage is pretty cool. Also, they are tearing this building down. So I'm glad I got video of it because it is a nice building. Um, yeah. Anyway, it, it really be like that sometimes. You know, they say it don't be like it is, but it do sometimes and I live by that. I really, I really do. So what have we been doing? Well, she has been cutting fabric for her shirt and ironing interfacing onto some pieces, which makes them firmer, which is what I needed to do for the collar. And then I'm also like drawing lines on the fabric with chalk to like sew darts or something. Or I don't know, this was fall 2021. Like why would I remember that? Um, here. I'm finally sewing pieces together. All I remember was I boarded the struggle bus and I never got off at my stop, pretty much. honest and say this was probably too ambitious of a first project for me but we live and we learn and at least I didn't cry in class right no you're wrong I did cry in class I just remembered that and I will share my woes here Pauline if you're watching this hi girl I'm sorry you had to witness that so basically I was making 50 mistakes a minute and taking them all apart 
was taking like 50 times longer than it took to make those mistakes, right? I wasn't really getting any help from my teacher and none of us could figure out how to piece my shirt pieces together because it wasn't just like one shirt pattern. No, it couldn't be that simple for me. It was the bodice of a dress and the sleeves were a separate piece and then also the collar i modified to be a different shape so i had to like draw a different um shape for the collar and then for some reason it did not fit on the bodice and i was like there's no way it was yeah like a whole thing so one day near finals week i believe i snapped and i balled it out in class because i was so stressed and everyone had forsaken me except pauline who is my friend, but she couldn't help because she had her own shirt to do and we were equally confused. Um, anyway, moral of the story is crying in class is just as embarrassing as you think it would be, so tape up your tear ducts and bring those suckers home. I'm gonna zoom in on the apples. <laughs> Set, bear.
I'm cutting. I'm scared. It's only the end of class. <laughs> Morale is so low for you. <laughs> okay. Do you need mental assistance? Do you want me to tell you encouraging stories? Yeah. Girl! I know. No. <laughs> If you had to die in a dramatic way, how would you do it? Like keel over in a public space or something? Just like a very dramatic. I wanted to be like the mask level drama. We love that. Or like dropped in a volcano. Yeah. That's so slow. Is it really slow? How would you know? Why don't you go try it? I thought it would be like instant. Cause like drowning I feel like would be really slow.
Okay, let me hop in the voiceover once again to give a little context since apparently I don't think about doing that during filming. Um, here I'm working on a 3D house model for this interior design class that was apparently a requirement, so here I am um, housing. Then I got distracted, so I drew Phoebe Bridgers. I believe I was also listening to a lesson, but who knows. Um, speaking of which, I saw her in concert. Unfortunately, I also had a panic attack that day before the concert, so the experience was a bit marred by that. And also, my pepper spray got taken at the door by security. Do y'all really think I'm coming to a Phoebe Bridgers concert to spray people with pepper spray? Like, come on, y'all. And no, they did not give it back. It was, it was actually quite rude. But that aside, you saw that I finished my shirt. Yes, I did. And at that moment, I was quite proud of her. Um, you know, I think it turned out like pretty nice. I like the detail on the collar, which I did like with my home machine and I was kind of just like drawing with thread. So I think that was like a cool idea. The collar is supposed to look like butterfly wings, but everyone was like, those are clearly spider webs. And I was like, oh, okay. Shout out to the open lab assistant who helped me out more than my teacher did. You're a real one. He really was there like until 11 p.m. Um, just helping students out, so slay i don't know if i touched on this maybe i did but my inspiration for the shirt was based on luna's butterfly performance shirts they wore them in the music video and in a few performances and i was like wow i want one maybe i'll just make one for this class um forgetting i am not built like a k-pop idol at all i think the dress form was rocking that shirt but i on the other hand was about to flex those sleeves off because i got wide shoulders you can't tell but i do so you've got to take my word for it anyway i cooked chickpea curry um 
you can see here i'm pouring in this milk i can't handle milk i'm lactose intolerant so yes i did um sit on my porcelain throne after eating that um but don't worry i have lactose pills now so you know your girl is yeah eating cheese by the pound I really will do all manner of things except study during finals week, huh? You can see me playing Animal Crossing. I'm like growing plants. Well, here I'm still working on my building, which turned out actually pretty cool if I do say so myself. This program was really fun to use. And like, even though I won't use it in my major, I'm like, you know what? It was fun to learn. So shout out to SketchUp. Welcome back to the end of the video. Hopefully I put this at the end, otherwise it's gonna be weird. Um, here's the shirt. Well, I was informed that I put these cuffs on like backwards 
like the right side is supposed to go over the left side. Um, but in my defense, this is how it looked on the pattern package. So this is the shirt. Should I put it on? Okay, I'll put it on one sec. The unfortunate news is that I don't really have any bottoms to go with it. So I put on my pajama pants. So I don't know what kind of vibe I'm serving here, but it is something. So here's the shirt. Um, she cost me everything. And well, I am proud of how she turned out. But also, I have no idea where I would wear this because it's giving very much like founding father. Like, imagine me signing like, you know, like the Constitution or something like. If I'm editing this, please Photoshop me into one of those founding father conventions. Okay, I'm assuming I did that. Yeah, it looks stupid. But anyway, this is very Luna butterfly adjacent. So at least that, at least we have that going for me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out a little bit with me at the end. Thank you for watching. Bye. Consumerism. Who even goes around wearing shirts like this now? Look! On the side, to show that this is volume 3.